<laughs> Hello guys, this is Flag coming at you from the Helix VR Hangout and Rec Room, and today we're talking with Devin and Joey, who are the developers of an absolutely awesome up-and-coming virtual reality PvP archery title, Arrowborn. How you guys doing? Hey, how's it Good. going? What's up? All right, now now the Helix team's been playing Arrowborn for several months now, and I've seen it grow quite a bit throughout its development. And I think we can, I can safely speak for all of us. I don't know what Kerm will think over there about me doing that. But <laughs> <laughs> you might have to throw on a uh, Scottish accent to speak for him. <laughs> yeah, I, I could try that. I would love to hear that. <laughs> but we've all enjoyed it quite a bit from day one. Now, for those, for those out there watching this who haven't had the opportunity to participate in the closed beta, tell us about Aeroborn. What is it? All right. So Aeroborn is basically kind of filling the gap where, you know, initially when we kind of got into VR archery, we were like, hey, you know, this would be pretty cool if we could just kind of shoot each other. Now, some other titles have come along. This was about a year and a half ago, but, uh, you know, some other titles have come along and, and kind of done that. But, you know, we were already kind of started. So we started just kind of expanding on it. And then we realized, you know, hey, you know, we need to add a little bit more to this than just, you know, straight up you know, conventional archery. So, you know, we started to kind of brainstorm about different arrows and different things we can do to kind of mix it up. And, you know, Joe and I are pretty old school gamers. I mean, we're, you know, what are we, pushing 40 now? <laughs> Something like that. I, I'm not keeping track. But, uh, yeah, so, you know, we're kind of coming from the, the Quake era and, the, you know, the Doom era. So we kind of saw all this stuff you know, develop uh, from the first person shooter perspective. So we thought, you know, well, let's just bring some of the stuff that we know from that into the VR archery thing and see what happens. So it's kind of where the, the idea came from anyway. But uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I think... I think a lot of it was um, like we played the um, the archery games that were available and all of them kind of had this like kind of cartoony physics thing to it where the yeah. arrows felt like really heavy or... They didn't shoot very far. It wasn't, you know, realistic. So, um, and I just wanted to do something totally different than that. I mean, we played the other games and I was like, and this is really cool, but it could be so much better if, you know, if there was just a little more, you know, real realism to it. So that's kind of the, the direction that we, we were kind of pushing for that. Now, do you, both of you guys, either of you come from a developer background before this, or is this your first title or? Yeah, so we've been kind of doing hobbyist type stuff, I'd say, as far back as 2000. Um, we, we never really released anything officially, but we have a whole bunch of pet projects. And uh, I guess back in the uh, the 2000s, uh, we were looking at um, building a game that was kind of like, this was back when we were like big into RTS games. And uh, uh, I think we were playing like Homeworld a lot, if, if anybody remembers that game. Oh, yeah. But uh, yeah. Yeah, I love that. We love that game. And so, uh, you know, we were thinking about trying to expand on that. So we had this kind of underwater game kind of developed. And from there, we just sort of, we never quite got it to where we wanted it to. And, uh, you know, I think we just kind of abandoned that and tried some other, you know, we get ideas all the time. And so uh, when Unity came along, or, you know, these engines really advanced, it, it did a lot of work for you. And it was just me and him. So it was, it was a lot of work to develop a game from basically scratch back then so now that we have these engines it was like oh, all these ideas are kind of coming to light you know all these things that we kind of filed away and so you know we we kind of move between different projects but never quite got serious about one until now until Araborn. so um i think you know I'd, I'd say we'd been doing this for i don't know 10 years but not officially just kind of as hobbyists and i, I almost still consider ourselves just hobbyist developers but you know it's now that we're actually putting a product under, you know, public scrutiny, it feels a little different. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you've stepped over that border already. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's how I feel. I'm just kind of like, all right, <laughs> no going back now. So uh, the game is is it is it based on a foundation of Unity or is it is it? A... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So um, a lot of the ideas that we had, like you know, in fact, I guess about I don't know six or seven years ago, I I. We, you know, we took a break from what we were doing back in 2000 and then, you know, we didn't really do anything for a while. And then Unity kind of came out and I started experimenting with it. And I was like, oh, man, I got to I got to tell Joey about this. Like, you know, this is like all the stuff we were trying to do back then, but done for you already. So, yeah, I mean, uh, Unity has been a very good. I mean, it's just kind of what we started out with. And, I, you know, I'm not like a 
uh, evangelist by any means of, of Unity, but it's it's great to see these modern engine, engines really, you know, allowing indie developers to do some really sophisticated stuff. And so, you know, we, when we saw like what Unity could do, even you know five six years ago, we were you know super excited, and we started you know just putting out all kinds of crazy prototypes and stuff and you know but again you know nothing really st stuck it was just very you know very experimental stuff that we were playing around with just all those ideas that we had over the years just kind of coming out but it was uh yeah unity has been a, a a really good thing for us we've like really learned a lot just about game development and stuff you know in general so it's been exciting so far I, i'd say yeah i mean it's cool to have um compared to what we were doing originally to have an idea and within, you know, one or two weeks you have like a, a prototype that you're actually playing. I mean, that was unheard of back then, you know, and now, you know, there's just all the tools are available now. So it's, you know, I mean, it's kind of your imagination is the, the limitation of what you can, what you can do. Are you guys the only developers of uh, Aeroborn? You guys yep. running this? Is it? Wow. You're looking yeah. at the whole company. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> So I hope this place doesn't explode because that's the end of the. Yeah, that, 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 that's pretty. That's pretty impressive. It's, <laughs> it's less people to argue with. Yeah, that's true too. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, one's enough, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, uh, when when is the game release? When do you, when are you guys going in early access? Yeah. So it's uh, we initially were going to have it last Tuesday, but then I got really sick and then had some stuff to do around the house and. I was just like, man, you know, if, if people are going to, you know, really want me in contact, I better push it a week. So we're going to do this Tuesday, the, what is that, the 24th, so yeah, July 24th. Tuesday. And what price point are you, are you looking at or if it's you, gonna if be, you don't uh, have to say? <laughs> no, that's fine. It's already on the page. It's, uh, oh, okay. I didn't even it's uh, 1499 US. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah. I mean, we tried to kind of price it where, you know, it, it, kind of met the expectations of you know quality versus i mean yeah it's an indie title so you know i'm not going to drop no 69.99 on people you know or 59.99 so you know but we we looked at other comparables and stuff and saw what other people were doing and you know we tried to price it somewhere you know where we felt was fair and you know not too low where people are like all right you know what's wrong with it you know but you know, high enough well, where it was you know not like you know going to push a whole bunch of people away but I guess we'll see, right? <laughs> uh, I think I think it's well worth the fourteen ninety nine. Well, thanks. Personally, definitely worth. And I see a lot of garbage titles going for a lot more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Well, you know, it kind of it's kind of the other edge of the sword from you know having you know these these engines at at, at everyone's disposal now is that you know you, you get a lot of people that uh, you know I have nothing against like you know putting experimental stuff out there, but like you know when you have a what's equates to barely more than a tutorial finished you know right, and you're trying yeah. to sell that it's like come on man like you know so that you know it, it's i think that's contributed to some of the stuff that you're seeing but you know it's it's good and bad you know it's it, it you you find plenty of you know, you know diamonds in the rough so eh, hard yeah, to say uh, that's that's all over the gaming world and software world, anyways. Yeah, and, yeah, uh, for sure. Shovelware getting pushed around, and you know, but that's where that's where other ideas mesh out from. Yeah, for sure, so, for yeah. sure. So, uh, what what do you have on the roadmap after after it goes in early access? What what, what do you look? What what can we expect to see? Yeah. Uh, so, um, yeah. So one of the big ones was. Uh, you know, when we first put the beta out, we had a a wave defense mode, which is kind of a single player slash co op mode, and uh, we just that wasn't the focus of the game to start. Um, you know, you can kind of see on all our marketing material, we're like, Araborn is you know PvP archery, so we really wanted to focus on that. Now, you know, we had a lot of people uh, come into the game, and you know. Which is, you know, it's fair when, when people come in and they don't want to go immediately online because they're afraid they're going to get crushed, which is probably true half the time. But, you know, they were, we had a lot of people funneling into wave defense and they were, you know, kind of critiquing that. And we were just, we kind of just put wave defense in there as a, almost like a, a starting point. We didn't really want to focus on that, at least initially, um, because we just didn't, you know, it was, it was very generic and we didn't think it was very fun. Even though people kind of enjoyed it, we, we felt we could do a lot more with it. So, in the game that we have now that we're going to release, we're just, we kind of have it marked as like, a, you know, this is coming soon. And really what we'd like to do is take a closer look at it. And, uh, you know, and this is probably number one on the, the roadmap would be 
making a making a cool co-op experience. We'd like to, you know, make um, you know more a more epic feel to it rather than just like here's a dude, here's another dude, shoot him now, shoot right. him. You know, it's like we want to do something a little bit more organic and you know something that makes you feel. Uh, you know, part of a, a battle or something more interesting. Yeah, just so, a, something more epic than, you know, the average wave defense, you know, like boss battles and things like that. Because, I mean, every every shooter game in VR is wave defense, and it just, you know, it just felt like it's just been done to death. And, you know, we just we just didn't want to do that again. You know, we really want to do something different, and which, you know, I think that's been one of the hurdles, you know, is, is trying to, you know, let, you know, as people play the game, you know, they figure out, oh, well, this isn't like <laughs> the other archery games, you know, and they go into it wanting it to be that way. And yeah, then, yeah. you know, that's and hopefully after they play a few games and they, you know, and they're making midair headshots and, you know, they're shooting explosive arrows, a frozen arrow, you know, and a fire arrow getting these combination shots, you know, they then they start to get it, you know, but um, that's that's been like one of the hurdles. And I think we're just now kind of starting to break through that. You know, so yeah, yeah, I agree. It's like you know, it's like I was saying. It was you know, I understand like you know going to familiar things, but you know we were trying to push that, and I think when we gave them the option to go the familiar route, they just chose that almost you know not exclusively, but for the most part. And it was just kind of like you know we get a lot of feedback about the stuff that we were kind of like eh, you know, <laughs> like yeah, hearing the Fed feedback was just like yeah, you know that's not the know focus, it's not great. you know, yeah, yeah, and, yeah. So, so we finally just came. Yeah, yeah so we're, so we're also going to do um like, like some other team based games. We're talk we're kicking around the idea about doing like capture the flag, okay. um you know, and some other you know maybe objective based games um you know but keep it keep it multiplayer. But you know there there's 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 still a single player component uh, with the bots and things like that now. You know, so if you you know if you didn't want to get online and felt like you know you, you get in one game and get destroyed, you could you could put you know a couple of easy bots in any of the servers and you know. And start your own server and, and play against that until you feel comfortable getting in, in a, you know, in a regular game. Yeah. And, uh, you know, that's what we were kind of banking on is that like, you know, once we added in, um, achievements and, uh, you know, the, uh, the leaderboards, we were hoping that would just be a good enough, uh, thing to kind of occupy, you know, so if you want to do like comp stomp with a friend or something like that, yeah, you throw a couple bots in team deathmatch and then just, you know, and then just dive in. And, uh, you know, hopefully with all that stuff, it'll keep people entertained long enough so that we can kind of fill out some more interesting stuff. I mean, you know, it, we still have to add some maps in, you know, certainly there's only there's only like three or four now. But, uh, you know, we want to we want to fill that out. It's but we just wanted to, you know, we felt early access was a good time to kind of get the game out there. And, you know, I think it's I think it's, you know, it's done enough where, you know, you get the idea of where we're going and then. You know, the plan was to put it out there and, you know, see how it performs and then, you know, put up a roadmap, it's which we put on our uh, our Steam page just recently, just saying, like, you know, the, the things I'm telling you now where, you know, we have a co-op plan, a co-op mode plan. We have a um, an extra multiplayer, uh, mo you know, objective based thing. It'll either be like a point capture or a flag capture or something like that, just to, you know, mix things up. And uh, what was the other thing that's on there? Can't remember. Uh, music. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, some some polish elements, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a little too quiet in the game. <laughs> and of course, this is subject to change based on the feedback we get. So, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, I also for sure. saw that you added a uh, smooth locomotion component recently. Yeah, that yeah that was big time based on feedback. And uh, what it stemmed from was, you know, initially we were just kind of like, all right, well. Well, first, you know, before we even really brought the game to the public, you know, we just had static teleport points, you know, where you just kind of go from between different points, basically like, uh, you know, Elven Assassin or, you know, or any of the, I think uh, the the Lab One does it too. Yeah, um, no, yeah it's just, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, we had that initially. And then, uh, you know, then we added in the jump thing and, you know, we realized that, uh, wow, this is like a lot of fun, especially when you're doing like midair headshots. So we <laughs> we ended up kind of, constructing the game around that quite a bit you know and so you know you can see like we have a lot of bonuses and stuff that pop up when you do these crazy shots and you know the the game is more score based than it is kill based i mean kills are worth a lot but you know we have like a lot of if you could do a lot of fancy you know long really you know airborne type shots that's like you know that you can win that way as opposed to just getting killed all you know the time you can you could have actually the most the least amount of kills but the most amount of points so we figured that was an interesting twist 
And yeah, I uh, hate you guys for that because uh, I was playing seven. And, uh, <laughs> I was slaughtering him, but somehow yeah. he won every round, and I was like, how <laughs> are you doing this? He's cheating. Yeah, yeah no, you, guys, he's you blocking, guys. Yeah, he's probably using the shield. Yeah, you get points for every every arrow oh, you really? block with the shield. Oh, yeah. Nice. See, yeah, see, yeah. yeah, the goal was to get some, like, flexibility and, and just variety in the game. You know, it, yes, it is a, you know, a straight-up shooter, but... You know, we put in those those gems that kind of give you like a tanky spec or like, you know, if you want to do like a glass cannon thing, you can. If you want to do kind of, a, you know, a support based but more uh, interference type, like, you know, there's like troll type arrows where you could like root a guy and then freeze him. And he's basically like, you know, sit there frozen and, and still for a little while. And, you know, you could just kind of screw with them. There's there's all kinds of different things you can do in the game. And so, you know, that was sort of the the impetus for, you know designing the game was like you know just adding more to it than just you know here's an arrow you know put it in this guy's face you know you can do you can do a lot more so but uh yeah well, well i think we got sidetracked there what was the original question i'm sorry <laughs> it was a roadmap you guys pretty much covered that we okay yeah. Enough, uh, yeah i think that was all the points we had on the roadmap was, before. Yeah, that was, it was it was very well answered <laughs> Well, guys, that's all we've got time for today. I appreciate you guys showing up. Yeah, thank you very much, guys, and thanks uh, all the Helix guys. It was uh, it was really awesome, and you guys do a really cool thing for us developers, so thank you again. And, uh, yeah, I, we have some uh, keys that we're going to give away to you guys, so, uh, you know, if you guys are interested that are watching, um, check it out. Well, that's it for today, guys. If you're interested in this title, it'll be available on Steam on the 24th. I've left the link to it in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you didn't, well, hit that other button. If you'd like to see more videos like this and be kept up to date on upcoming VR titles, reviews, and giveaways, hit that subscribe button. 